In the low-lying suburbs of Tokyo, an underground pump station protects the capital from flooding. Japan's land ministry says it is the world's current largest solution to flooding. Here is the pump station for the Tokyo Metropolitan Floodway, the endpoint of a 3.7 miles long network of tunnels, capable of channeling away stormwaters at the rate of five Olympic-sized swimming pools every minute. The aim is to prevent scenes like those in New York this week. When Hurricane Sandy caused widespread flooding across parts of the city, a study of several towns in Tokyo's low-lying northern suburbs before and after the water system was completed in 2006 shows positive results. The floodway is directly protecting people from floods. The results are there. The damage is down by about two thirds in terms of both the number of homes that get flooded and the areas that are impacted. The jewel of the system is a cavernous surge tank measuring 580 feet long, 256 feet wide, and 59 feet high. As smaller rivers rise during typhoons, the water is diverted into the tank through 3.9 miles of tunnels at a maximum rate of 260 cubic yards every second. From there, the water is slowly pumped into the Edo River, a waterway large enough to handle the extra volume. With a price tag of about 2.9 billion dollars, the system wasn't cheap. But Koryama says the United States should keep it in mind if there's space. The best idea for town planning is, of course, to make sure your river routes are in the right place and on the right ground. But for areas that haven't been able to do that well, new underground floodways will work well to stop flooding. But in the case of New York, all the space underground has been used up for development, and I think it would probably be difficult to put in floodways. Every year, Tokyo is swept by typhoons and storms, many similar in force to Hurricane Sandy. In 1991, a typhoon swamped nearly 24,710 acres of land and flooded more than 30,000 homes in low-lying areas around Tokyo's northern fringes, according to land ministry figures. Construction of the floodway began two years later and was fully completed by 2006.